Hey you guys, welcome back to Southern Latitudes. This is gonna be a little short, but I wanted to explain something to you. So my Socrates cucumbers are doing really well. I got them out of Johnny Seeds. They are extremely expensive seeds. Why is that, you ask? Because for every bloom, there is always a female fruit behind it. They are self-pollinating. You do not need a male bloom at all on these. So as you can see, every one of them turns into a female. And there's another one right there. Oh my goodness, and plus we're already eating them. And here's another one, and another one. I don't know what's going on with the blooms up here. There is a female, I don't know if that took. We need, we definitely need some rain. But as you can see, they, they just look lovely. They're doing fantastic. Now the one on the end here, this is a marketer cucumber. Look at all the boys. See at behind the bloom, there's no female fruit in there. So this is a marketer. Now I just grew this variety. Uh, actually I've had a lot of seeds, but only this one germinated. So I just threw it with the Socrates and it's doing what it just wants to do, which is just throw male blooms. I don't know what's going on with the male blooms in my yard, but I'm thinking, oh, there's a female, there's a little female. Okay, this is a marketer female cucumber. So it looks like it got germinated too. Now, how do I know that? Because see the little end right there? Deep dark green. If it wasn't, it would just kind of be the same green as the rest and then it would fall off. But I've just known after doing this for so long that when I see that deep, deep dark green right there at the at the base, I know that has been that is one that's been pollinated. So this Socrates is very nice too. It has mostly um, been created for uh, greenhouses, you know, where bees can't come in. So it is a great cucumber. Uh oh, I got a little hole down there. Probably should just pull this one because otherwise the little uh, cucumber bug or, you know, larva, I don't know what you call it, but it's gonna come in here and destroy the fruit anyhow, so I might as well just eat it. But the rest of them look pretty good. The bucks have not found them. Well, now they have. <laughs> but other than that, everybody's looking really good. See, here's more females. There's another female, 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 female. It's, it's quite an interesting thing that, you know, they can do that genetically. Look at that, more f female, female. If I can keep this plant long enough, we'll have a good couple dozen or more uh, cucumbers. So I'm, look, look at them going all the way up. When they're all green like that, they almost look like a little pineapple all the way up here. Gosh, there's nothing but females. We just need a really good drink of rain definitely need some rain in here but I thought I would explain um, the Socrates cucumbers and how it it puts out only female blooms and that's you're paying for the genetics that's why you're paying so much for the seed um, and the marketer is great too if you're in a greenhouse though you might want to consider Socrates if you're in a situation where you don't have bees you don't have time to pollinate uh, whatever reason you might want to choose that too sometimes it's just nice to have a plant that produces really good um, but you know once in a while it likes sun oh don't put it in the shade because I, I did that one year I put it in the shade thinking okay I'll put the ones that need bees here and I'll put those over there no they like sun so that's it you guys I hope you found something interesting out of that maybe something new and educational for you so take care God bless and I'll see you in the next video bye bye